Hey, welcome back everyone to Christine Tommy's Adventure. So today we're talking about all that onboard credit that Carnival gave you for all those booked cruises you had that ended up getting canceled and some of the best ways that you can use that onboard credit. So first, starting with excursions, you can use your onboard credit to actually purchase excursions, but you just have to wait till you're on board the ship. That's the thing about onboard credit. The only time you can't use it is when you're not on the ship. So you have to be on board to use it. And in order to use it for excursions, you just pull up either the hub app or you go down to the Carnival Excursions desk and actually sign up for those excursions. So another thing you can use it for is gratuities. So these will be automatically deducted from your account while you're on board. So you don't even really need to worry about it. Just make sure that you know you're going to have to pay those gratuities at some time, usually about halfway through the cruise. Another way to use it is specialty restaurants. So go to any one of those specialty restaurants and use your onboard credit to treat yourself to a nice meal. Some of the restaurants include like Bonsai, Fahrenheit 555, and any of those other restaurants that are not part of the included food package. So my favorite way is to get some drinks and not just alcoholic drinks. You can go to the coffee shop and you can also go to Cherry on Top and get yourself like a Sunday or something. There's also onboard shopping. You can go shopping at any one of the onboard stores and use your onboard credit to buy anything they have to offer, including like t-shirts and watches and just all kinds of luxury items. You can also buy alcohol and smokes. You go to the onboard duty-free shop the day after setting sail, and you can use your onboard credit to get a huge, like three liter bottle of alcohol that you can collect at the end of the cruise, or you can get smokes that you can use right then and there to enjoy on the Lido deck or in the smoking area of the casino. Speaking of the casino, you can use it to gamble. That's right. So you can pull money from your onboard credit by going to any slot machine. You got to make a pin number uh, and then you just pull the money straight out of your card to gamble. And then you can cash that out. You can also go to the cashier and get chips using your onboard credit. Another way to use it is room service. You can order room service from your phone in the room or you use your phone on the hub app. Some other things that you might be able to use in your room are like the in-room entertainment, or you can go see a movie, or do some of the activities like on the Mardi Gras, the roller coaster. Another amazing thing to use your onboard credit for is pictures. So treat yourself to a picture package. They're very expensive, so don't get shy about using the onboard photographers in order to get yourself a bunch of professional shots all throughout the cruise. Another great way to use it is spa treatment. You go up to the spa desk and ask them for a tour of the facilities and they can help you figure out which treatment might be best for you. And like I said, there's really only one thing you can't use your onboard credit for. And that's anything when you're not on board the ship. So you can't prepay for anything using your onboard credit. You can't use your onboard credit when you step off the ship. So make sure you've used it all before you leave. And you also want to keep track of your spending by looking at your account on the hub app or you can use the tv to see what you have spent and like i said make sure you use it all up because once you're off the ship it's gone if you do end up using it all remember that your credit card will be charged for any excess so here are some of the great ways like i said that you can use your onboard credit in order to spend all that free money that Carnival has given you because of the unfortunate events that have happened over the last year. When we went on the Vista, these were just some of the ways that we got to use our onboard credit and just enjoy some of the meals that we normally wouldn't actually get because we we're being a little more frugal. This time with that onboard credit, you can pretty much do whatever you want and not have to worry about spending hundreds or thousands of dollars. So thanks for watching guys. I'm going to be pumping out more content, so please can subscribe, and I'll see you next time.